The latest state deputy governor, Bafemi Hamzad, has expressed optimism about the economic vision laid out by President Bola Tinubu, particularly the ambitious goal of achieving a $1 trillion economy for Nigeria. The deputy governor, who stated this during a media chat in Lagos, emphasized that this target is not just an aspirational figure, but a necessary step for the nation's prosperity. Plus, TV News correspondent Love Oyodekun tells us more in this report. It was indeed strategic and interactive with men of the fourth estate of the realm. Drawn from selected media houses in Lagos, the journalists were given a rundown of ongoing activities and initiatives of Office of Political, Legislative and Civic Engagement and the impact so far. The special advisor, Dr. Afola Bitajudin, began by acknowledging the challenges that a few subsidy removal has posed for many citizens. He used the forum to assure the public that the Lagos State government is fully aware of the hardships faced by the residents. The government will not relent in this effort to bring relief to residents of Lagos State and also maintain peaceful and harmonious working relationship with all stakeholders in the state towards achieving the greater Lagos rising vision of this administration. Delivering his keynote address, the deputy governor pointed to the strategic policies introduced by the president as crucial to achieving this economic growth. The deputy governor also noted the importance of digital transformation, technological advancements, and financial literacy as key components in building a sustainable and resilient economy. Most companies don't want you to come to offices anymore. This generation, they don't even like to go to the offices. They are to go and do what? So they get the project, they do it, they send it back. They just email it back. And they do the coding in their room, they get twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. And another is coming. So a lot of people will be... So we cannot be looking at how do we promote those a lot more. And that's the challenge. So that's why you see our, the, the development plan of Lagos, our new 30-year plan, is to make Lagos the woman-centric capital of the world. We have these young people. How do we develop them so that if Microsoft say, I need 50,000 coders, we can get it from Lagos. So the challenge, how do we get it? How do we do that? And that is the future of money. With sites on such ambitious goal of a $1 trillion economy, Leaders like Hamzad believe that both government initiatives and individual efforts in shaping the future of the youth are essential in realizing this vision. The session wasn't one-sided, but truly engaging. Ample time was allotted for us to ask questions, give feedbacks on happenings within and around Lagos State. We took the deputy governor on various issues begging for answers, from roads, constructions, to health issues, education, traffic control by last month, etc. A lot of people dress up, very dressed in uniform, and um, dress in uniform, and then you just dress up early in the morning, they just come out and do their hanging around and for people to act. These are young men, properly dressed, energetic, but are not doing what they are sent out there to do. These uh, yellow buses, when you go to traffic light and traffic light stops them, they beat the traffic. And God saves you. If you say you claim the right of way, those people don't obey traffic law. Are they, is it a different law for them in Lagos State? Father in particular, mm. he would uh, there are lots of um, there are lots of uh, alternative routes uh, in that area that uh, public transport used to get to Abuleba, to get to Fagba, and the roads are not motorable. I think that the Lagos State Government should look into that area and get it fixed or do something um, for the people in that area. At the end, journalists were better informed on how the Lagos State Government is working hard to ensure it delivers on its mandate to residents. Love Uyeduku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.